This was the shortest, most challenging, most miserable, most exciting, and most rewarding year of my life. I know myself now better than ever before, and I've become someone I didn't always think I could be. For those reasons alone, I owe everything to the individuals who were there for me along the way. Before I recognize them, I'd like to walk each of you through this past school year through my own lens. A lens that won't quite show you the honey and rice crispy treat covered Dr. Nunez, Pied Mr. McKenzie, the outrageously out of place yet oddly fitting Techno Girls basketball game, Mr. Kerr literally almost falling off the stage due to dizziness, the roller coaster cheer, or the horribly embarrassing yet equally fun cowboy theme night. <laughs> but, but rather a more serious perspective, and behind the scenes look at some of the primary issues that came across from Council's desk this year. Sarah and I both had lofty goals set for this year, and while we were fully prepared and wanted to see them carried out, we in Student Council continually found ourselves running into road, roadblocks along the way. The majority of our energy throughout the summer leading up to the school year, and through fall and most of winter, was spent dealing with Discovery Week. Unfortunately, after months of work, we were unable to reignite the spark Mrs. Corda had worked years to create. Due to the program's innovative nature, required extensive planning, and unavoidable fees, the spring of 2010 proved to be unfit for such ambition. While this was both discouraging and time-consuming, we felt we did everything in our power to give it the best chance possible. This early setback, while, ta while taxing and unfortunate, taught us a great deal about how much it takes to truly make a significant change around here. And that newly acquired knowledge only helped us as we ran into similar frustrations later in the year. As the year progressed, we began to understand that many of the things we wished to change to improve our community were things that were deeply entrenched within our school's history and culture. We found that no matter how seemingly trivial or isolated an issue may be, it would always be linked to something else that would ultimately make it impossible to change without rethinking a majority of our policies. So our question was, what is tying all these things together? What is the issue underlying these seemingly insignificant things that truly needs to be discussed? Finding the answer to these questions quickly defined our role as student leaders. And after months of meetings, discussions, and circling conversations, we reached a verdict that essentially embodies not only months of work and research, but also the entire consensus of student, of student council as well. This verdict will be sent out to all of you through the next school newspaper. and will be seriously discussed with, discussed with various authority figures over our final two weeks in office. But until then, let me now take a moment to thank those who are equally responsible for this year running the way they did. Mr. Lee, you've gone above and beyond what your job title requires. You are most responsible for my overall development this year. Whether well, it was a meeting on Saturday morning or Tuesday night, it was your genuine interest and care for not only the topic at hand, but the well-being of both Sarah and I alike that made us want to work with you. You created an environment for Sarah and I to truly embrace independent, independent student work that was guided by adult advice versus adult supervision. It is this balance that allows you to be so good at what you do, and is what enables the truest form of student government to exist. This year would not have been the same without you, and the things I have learned from you will stay with me forever. I, I didn't write this in here, but I, every single day I would go into your office, and I didn't care what was on my mind, what was going through my head, I would sit down, and we could have so many things on our plate, and you would just sit there and talk to me, and I have learned more from you in those two conversations than I have learned in my entire life. And for that guidance, I can't thank you enough. And, and Sarah, you've been without a doubt the rock of student council. While it's my responsibility to run meetings, assemblies, and various other functions, you've been there with me every step of the way, keeping me grounded and on task. I can honestly say that I couldn't have found a better person to work with. The only person I can count on to send a picture of your adorable baby cousin at 2 in the morning when it's a threat. And in fact, you were there to help me last night, right around midnight, as I practiced reading the speech to you. So you put just as much, if not more, time and energy into this school year. And in no way should that go unnoticed. I couldn't have done any of this without you. You're one of my best friends. So thank you for that. And to close, my final thank you goes to each and every person in this room. While this place means very much to me, the reason I chose to take this position and the reason I pushed myself further than I've ever pushed myself before is for you guys. I owe this community more than I'll ever be able to repay, and I'll never forget that. So I love every single one of you, and thank you very much for this school year. It's meant so much to me.
anything in front of you, it would be one of the hardest things to do, but like I said, it would be one of the most rewarding.